Hey, what's up and how's it going? My name is Toby and I've been creating this AR game prototype in just two days using Unity and Lightship. And in today's video, I want to show you guys my approach and how you can achieve this too. This is not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, but just a very general idea on how to create something like this. But I have a lot of step-by-step -step and very detailed tutorials on my channel and you will find a tutorial regarding everything we'll talk about in this video. And if you want to know more, then just check out my channel or check the links in the video description. Alright, but let's get started on this one. So the very first task was of course to find a cool idea that would work great in augmented reality. And from my experience, arcade games work quite well. So I've experimented with flying ships and I really like this idea of steering a flying vehicle and collecting some kind of items. So I chose to create a paper plane game in which you would need to fly through rings and um, fly through as many rings as possible until you somehow crash into a wall or in the ground. And so this idea is also quite manageable in terms of scope and in terms of features. So you don't have to build for weeks or months to figure out if it's actually fun or not. So this was also something I really liked about this. So the first thing I needed was a model. So I fired up Blender and used my stellar modeling skills to make a paper plane and a ring. And I exported both of those in FBX and then switched to Unity. Then I thought about the mechanics. So I would need some kind of way to steer the plane and interact with the loops. I need some points that can be scored, some kind of script that handles this. And of course the crash and collide logic. So I begin by building the flight mechanics by starting in plane 3D, pun intended. I focused on creating a vehicle controller that could be steered with just one finger. And so it could be intuitive, but also challenging to actually collect those rings. So first I was thinking about shooting wind with uh, by tapping on the screen and then you would need to uh, hold your phone to the left or to the right to uh, rotate the plane, for example, to steer it in a certain direction. But that wasn't really fun and was just too much effort. So yeah, it's always quite important just to test out these mechanics right in the beginning and to figure out are they actually fun? Should you continue with them or are they just too overcomplicated? And so I simply used a rigid body with some automatic forward movement. And so you would use your finger to just steer it up and down or left and right. And the, also the forward movement is just automatic. So to make testing easier, I added this launch plane button where you could just pretty much restart the game. Um, and then I did a lot of in-editor testing. Then I also did some on-device testing, did some adaptions in the script and finally got some okay results after a few hours. Next, I created the interaction between the ring and the plane. So I put a collider on the ring itself and a trigger collider inside it, which meant that if the player would fly through it, this trigger would fire and I could then go on and create the score mechanics. And I also added this nice particle effect to make it even more rewarding to fly through the, uh, the ring. So this was all still done in just standard 3D and now it was time to add AR to the scene. And for that I'm a big fan of this flexible approach of just separating the game objects into three different groups which would be the plane 3D scene, the AR scene, so you in the plane 3D scene there would be just a normal camera, 3D objects and all of that stuff and in the uh, AR scene there would be the XR origin, AR session, so what you would need for AR and then the third would be the game objects that would just uh, be in both scenes, so the game logic itself and in my case the paper plane and the object or the script that logic that spawns the rings so that you could very easily switch in between uh, 3D and AR. So in the AR scene I added AR meshing uh, which I have a few tutorials on on this channel and I also chose one of the algorithms that would spawn uh, objects on the AR mesh by just searching for some kind of random position and also making sure that the mesh is on the ground so we don't want the meshes on the wall. And so in my case I just added a bit of Y offset so it would just get this random point on the ground then add a Y offset and then spawn the ring. So it would be flying in the air and not be stuck in the ground. And although this algorithm gives an easy start, it's not perfect because some 
rings still spawn inside the wall or their position is really off. So I added two bits of logic to improve on this algorithm. The first one would check when was the last time that the player flew through one of the rings. So for example, if that was more than 20 seconds, this could mean that just the ring position is really bad or somehow off and then, then we would just respawn the ring. And the second one would just do a sphere cast around the player and so only spawn on the meshes that would be close to the player to a certain degree. So to make sure that, well, the spawn position is not somewhere really off where the player might not even see the ring or uh, might be in a wall or somewhere else. So then, of course, I implemented the logic of scoring and this was also quite easy. Anytime the uh, player threw through a ring, it would just trigger an event and this event would just count the score up one. And if the player would collide with any of the AR meshes, then it would just lose the game. So of course this mechanic is also not perfect as sometimes the meshing algorithm would just create some random flying mesh balls and if the player would collide with it um, they would just simply lose the game which is quite unfortunate. Also just the calculation of how far the walls are away would, wouldn't be so uh, ideal all the time but still would be fine for our first prototype. Alright and here it is a full AR game prototype built within just a few days. However, this prototype still has some fundamental weaknesses and things that need to be fixed apart from the bugs we've been already talking about. The main question is always why AR, right? So does your game have some special features that make it worth playing in augmented reality or would it just work just the same in playing 3D, because mobile gamers, including myself, always prefer playing lazy. So if you have to run around and move your phone up and down, uh, it better be worth it, right? So the AR game is made to do have some interaction with the uh, physical world, and this is actually what makes it worth playing in augmented reality over just a normal 3D game, right? So it might make sense to just integrate some special AR elements, for example, using object detection and some kind of uh, semantic segmentation into the game to actually make someone want to play this in augmented reality. But this is something for another video. So thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.